Welcome to the second day of my 30 day challenge, where I aim to build and design a Christmas slash winter island in just 30 days. I can't use Nintendo Online or the DLC, but I am allowed to time travel and we have some goals. So it's only the second day, but I have been trying to make a perfect snow person for what seems like forever. And this just isn't it. I know there are some tricks to get it right, but for some reason it's just so hard for me to make him perfect. It's always just slightly off, but I have to admit, this one is bad. I didn't think he would get that mad about it. I have also been looking out for balloons. I was so excited to get all of the winter DIYs to use for decoration. And look what I got. Only floors and wallpapers. This is kind of disappointing. I guess now that we have these out of the way, the good ones should come, right? My main reason for time travel lately has been to get some nuggets. To open up Nook's Cranny, we need 30 of each wood and 30 iron nuggets. The wood was no problem, but the nuggets... I am quite lucky to have so many trees and stones here, but I am still missing quite a few. Besides that, I also try to loot everything every day, to stock up my materials. I also complete as many Nook Plus goals as possible, because I am very excited to hunt for new villagers, and I need as many tickets as possible for that. I am also a little hesitant to upgrade my house. I would rather have the bells, to buy items for decoration. But I think I do need to upgrade at least a few times to be able to move houses. I'm leaving this question open for another day. Right now I'm just focusing on getting materials. So I'm selling some fish and I plant my money tree. I have been planting my money tree every day with the shovel that Cherry gave me. I have been hanging onto this shovel for dear life, because I can't get shovels yet. Well, let's talk about it. So. I have been putting off thinking about a museum, because I would like to leave bladders in a tent. Just because it's something different, and I think it would be more fun to decorate. But the thing is that once you put down the museum tent, unless you update it, there is no way to move it again. So I was kind of waiting for the vaulting pole so I could discover the rest of the island and find the perfect spot for bladders. But after I got a little impatient and decided to look up when you get the vaulting pole, I saw that you get that only after you put down the tent. So that is a little annoying. Then I thought about waiting for the bridge to be built, but I don't think that I can. Tom Nook seems pretty set on getting bladders here first. So my initial plan, well it wasn't a set in stone plan, just an idea, was to put a little Christmas town with all of the villager homes right at the entrance. I still like that idea, but to balance it I wanted to put bladders tent at the back of the island to be in the wild, but looks like I can't do that and I don't want to cram everything together at the entrance. So I thought about putting the town on the left or in the back, I'm not sure yet. And then putting bladders near a beach so I can decorate it, so I could get two birds with one stone and have a purpose for a part of the beach. I might just do that, maybe even the corner here to maximize the beach area. That was insightful for me, so back to business. I also take my daily tree shaking very seriously. First you shake them to get branches and wasps that sell for 2.5k each and maybe even a free item or some bells and then you chop them to get the wood. But I do have to craft like 4 flimsy axes just to get around my available part of the island. Then I felt the urge to talk to Orville just to see his introduction dialogue. Orville is so inspirational. I mean dodos can't even fly, but they were like, so what? We can still fly motorized planes. Let nobody tell you you can't reach your dreams. Why did the dodos get extinct? They were so cute. Because of their fearlessness and inability to fly, they were easy prey. Oh, don't worry guys, you are safe on my island. Back to work. I time traveled a day to get some more nuggets and I still didn't get enough. So I got some more miles in the meantime, time traveled again and finally had 30 nuggets. I delivered the nuggets and put down Nook's cranny in a random location that will probably change later on. Tom Nook got a call so I knew the villager hunting was getting closer. But I still have so much left to do. We also have Leaf here so let's talk to him before I forget. Leaf called my name a happy name. Does he say that to everyone? I can't remember. I don't know how many flowers I should use, but I might as well get them to have the option later. And I do want to get a ton of shrubs. Might as well get a ton now, who knows when leaf will be back and you can't breed the shrubs. And 
and I put down some flowers already so they could be ready for decorating. I don't think I will crossbreed any flowers, the only colors that interest me are red and white. So Nook Cranny opened and we met Mabel. Ah, it's so nice to see the old Nook's Cranny again. It's just adorable. I don't think I even want to update it. Let's get some stuff and check out the rest. You can actually sit on that pillow. How come I never tried that before? Well, it is a little disrespectful to just sit on their pillow, but as long as they don't complain. Look, I could even work here. Guys, can you give me a part-time gig? I could even help you with accounting if you want. Just imagine that would be so much fun. Well, that is it for today. Tomorrow I want to get us the first three villagers. But first we have to get bladders on our island so I can cross the river. This summarized the second day of North Pole. If you would like to follow my journey, feel free to subscribe and come back tomorrow for the third day. I appreciate you for being here. Let me know if you are decorating your island and what builds you have. Thank you so much for watching and see you all tomorrow.